Hi, I'm Gariel. I'm Garrett. We love to travel, but the term room service makes us think two things. Expensive and mediocre. We're looking for the best room service in the world to see if we can't find some luxury in this so-called luxury experience. Yeah, because eating cold chicken tenders at the foot of the bed really doesn't count. Today, we're checking in and checking out Petit Hermitage in West Hollywood, California. During our stay, we're gonna have room service three times. Breakfast, dinner, and late night. We'll evaluate each meal on taste and luxury. We're gonna tell you which one's our favorite. That way you'll know, if you're gonna splurge on room service just once, which meal should it be. You're welcome. Wow, this is nice. Petit Hermitage is a boutique hotel in West Hollywood, California. It's got a little bit of a romantic flair with a touch of fantasy. It's really an escape from what you imagine to be like a typical Hollywood hotel. We offer a unique array of room service experiences that it's gonna be hard to find somewhere else. I call this bed. This place is awesome. Look at this nice. table. Look at this like sitting area. We have a living room. It feels like I'm in my grandma's house. We've got a fireplace. Oh, this is very comfortable, yo. You're missing out. Go ahead, jump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm gonna order us breakfast to be delivered tomorrow. Hell yeah, breakfast in bed. Yep. Order up. All right. Uh, we'd like some breakfast. So for breakfast, we offer the Accent Orchestra wake-up call. We're challenging the traditional wake-up call by doing something that will just make your day feel like no other day. You'll wake up to the sounds of the orchestra playing beautiful music, the light pouring in through the windows, the chickens accompanied by two clowns serving breakfast in bed on a silver platter. Bye. What just happened? This is a fancy hotel. I'm ready to eat this. What do you have? I've got a salmon omelet with a salad and avocado toast and the spiciest orange juice I've ever had. I got a French toast and I have an omelet. How is that omelet? This is amazing. Has it got like cheese and stuff in it? Cheese. I think it has pastrami. I don't know what this is. I think it is pastrami, right? That's prosciutto. I knew that. I just want to see if you were paying attention. <laughs> How do you feel? Did you feel like a king eating this in the morning? That's one of the most luxurious things that's ever happened to me. People just waking me up with live music. It feels magical. Yeah, you think this is how Mickey Mouse wakes up every day. Exactly. We woke up like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> that French toast looks insane. What's inside of it? French toast. More French toast? French toast inside the French toast. No matter what, I've already had an incredible day. Nobody like, can mess it up. Like what else could happen today? Anything, yeah, anything, anything, anything else could happen. If they started their day like this. How early did they wake up? Clowns never sleep. What? That's what I heard on Wikipedia. Research. <laughs> All right, so what you want to do for the day? I don't know. Run around and explore. I'm going to go upstairs, check out the pool, and that's about it. You can't do that all day. When it comes to time away from work, it's time to relax. I'm going to get ready for the day. I'm going to take it in the bathroom with me. Don't sh** what you eat. Mm, okay. All right, well, Gadiel hangs out by the pool all day. I'm going to... Go out and explore the city. Oh my God, people. This is amazing. Look at this pool. I feel like I'm the king of Los Angeles. I am here. Hey, look. The Pacific Ocean. There's stores, there's food. Oh my God, they're dolphins. Oh, that's so cool. A place like this is nice to relax, enjoy yourself, but just enjoy the moment. Hey, man. Hey, man. Whoa. Whoa. There's a it's dog. A, it's a dog. A little uh, chihuahua. Hola. Hey, buddy. Hey. Who brought you here? Yeah. What is this? Dear Gary and Gadiel, we hope your stay with us is weird and wonderful. Please enjoy this bottle of crazy juice on us. What is this? Chocolate? It's Wait. chocolate. Ooh. Um, Are we supposed to snort that?
<laughs> this is good. Are you hungry? I am always hungry. Hi, I'd like to order some dinner. Looking good, man. So do you, man. Ready for dinner? Yes. For dinner service, we offer the unique experience of being served by two clowns. Come in. Hey. Which obviously makes for an unforgettable dining experience. Oh my goodness. Hello. Got it. Oh. Wow. Do you need help? That was the trip. All right, you want some of the salad? No, I'm not a salad guy. I'm more of a meat eater. You're just gonna dive straight into that? Yes. <laughs> Try this. Is that chimichurri? Yeah. I'm double dipping. That's a win right there. Mmm. That's so good. Oh. It's like a gravy, kind of au jus kind of thing. Au jus? I never heard that word in my life. It's just like meat juice. Meat juice doesn't sound right. That's why it's called au jus. Mmm. <laughs> That's that. real good, good isn't it? That. You can taste the char that it was like cooked in a shell with. Wow. This is the best lobster I've ever tasted. I've had lobster before, but nothing where like you're tasting its sort of preparation method. It's so tender and juicy. There's like five different flavors you're tasting at the same time. Grapefruit, kale, and like guacamole. How does that work? It's so good. Mm. Have you tried those shrimp yet? Fun fact, I'm allergic to shrimp. You're allergic to shrimp? Yeah, but I still eat it though. It's good as hell. I eat it until like my, I feel like a like itchiness in my throat, and that's when I'm like, okay, that's my body telling me to stop. Your body telling you to stop was before that. I haven't died yet. At least slow down, stop eating so much shrimp. It tastes so good. I have to eat it all so that you don't die. I'm gonna die happy. <laughs> Salud. I never thought about dinner in a hotel. If a hotel is going through the effort to do this, this is an event of itself. Special people coming in and delivering special food to you. It makes a whole special experience. And I'm glad I'm spending this time with you, Gary. Thanks, Scotty, y'all. I'm yeah, glad nice I'm spending time. this with you, too. What's the plan for the rest of the night? Maybe get a drink at the rooftop? Yeah, gazebos and all that sh I'm down. We could bring the dog with us. Where is that dog? I don't know. Oh, the dog. Yo, do you guys do a late night snack? A word? Yeah, let me get two for me and my buddy. And for late night, we have the Toledo Turndown service. Uh, hi. Come with me. Oh. It'd probably be better if you just sit down in the same bed next to him so we can be Cozy. Hey man. Imagine a voodoo priest tucking you in and feeding you cookies and milk as he's reading your bedtime stories. So gentlemen, these are the tales of twisted fairy tales from the book that I read. All the maidens used to say they didn't want to go into the forest for fear of what lurked inside the tall tree. Everybody wants to run their fingers through the wild furs. I just want to wrap around the back tonight and ride. She said, make me howl like a mad dog at the moon. Ow! Enjoy your milk and cookies, gentlemen. She didn't even read. Good night, Garrett. Good night, God, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. This is a good trip. This is amazing. Let's do it again tomorrow. All right, God, y'all. What was the best food 
What was the most luxurious experience? If you could only do one, which would you do? French toast was amazing, yes! Yep. But that ribeye and lobster together as a room service? Mm. Oh. What about you? That dry aged ribeye was so good. And that like char on the lobster, most luxurious experience. I would say waking up in the morning with music at my feet. Yep. I felt like royalty at that point. Except the chickens, they gotta go, son. <laughs> for me, something about just somebody coming in telling you a story that's just for you. There's no room <laughs> service like that. But if you could only do one, what would you do? I would say the breakfast in bed. It was magical, and on top of that, having music in the morning. I think I agree. Having just this silver tray on your lap, yeah. you have to feel special. We gotta check out. Hey, goodbye, Petite Mermitage. Thanks for the great stay.